Hi guys. Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back or we'll shoot. You're making a mistake. I just killed 50 bodyguards to get in here. What do you think I'll do to you? Uh well, uh, uh screw fist. He doesn't pay us enough for this. I would have never thought of that. Shooting is always <laughs> <laughs> Garrus is like, huh, intimidation. I guess that works. Okay, decrypt this thing. Manual override. Ooh. That was a barely. Okay. Oh god. Oh oh god. Oh god. Enemy is everywhere! <laughs> Alright. Alright, Caden. Thanks. I'm uh, assuming that was Caden. I think it was. And Karis is down. Is I was on that the was wrong dead. wall. Pull the line. These turrets do a lot of damage. I'm gonna be very careful. Wow, their stuff is repetitive. <laughs> Garrus? Garrus. We're doing a great job of holding the line, actually, Garrus. First of all, but thank you're you dead. You're not allowed to talk. <laughs> Wait! Don't kill me, I surrender. Start talking. Tell me where the Quarian is, and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> that was my that grenade. Was grenade. He's uh he's lying. That was a long time on the grenade. Shoot him in, shoot him in the kneecap. Put around in his legs, see if he talks. Oh. Wait, wait, I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here, said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Impossible. The Shadow Broker only works through his agents. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker, ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. You son of a bitch! It's pretty Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Time to die! Too you can make it if you try. First. You don't get to walk away. Whoa! That quarian's dead if we don't go now. Oh, you didn't have anything to say about that, Garrus? Um, I did that specifically uh, because Rex had a bounty to kill him, and I didn't take oh. him with me. So if I'd gone back to the ship without killing him... Rex would have been pissed off. Yeah, Rex would have been really upset. I'm just surprised Caden and Garrus didn't have anything to say about that. You shoot him point blank in cold blood, and Garrus is like... We gotta save the Quarian. First of all, Gar like, Garrus uh, and Rex are both renegade. Always turned a blind eye I think. think um, so it's kind of it kind of fits them, but. Well, I I don't know. I I always saw Garrus as more of like a rogue a rogue cop. Like he's still a cop. Okay. We gotta be careful, but we gotta move because we're on a very limited time frame. We got a little timer there in the bottom corner. A very conspicuous timer. Yeah. Even though you told me where it was, I still took a minute to find it. Yeah, I didn't actually notice it on my first playthrough until it was like a minute left, and I was like, oh shit, I gotta move. All right. Oh god! Oh, okay. In that Enemy is everywhere! In that particular instance, Caden, you were absolutely on top of it. That was a good summation. Okay, y'all need to go out there. <laughs> Run some interference for us there. Yeah, that's great. Man, I really need to get some points in first aid. Don't die, Garrus. I need you. I need you alive. Oh. I have some points in CPR, if that helps. Damn it. Garrus is dead! I performed it on a mannequin. I did too. Do you have a pistol or any other kind of weapon that's more accurate? 
This is the most accurate weapon I have for oh. the moment. Yeah. Um, there's a reason I only max out one weapon in every playthrough of Mass Effect. It's because you don't have the points to spend on every single weapon. Okay. And normally that's weird because the soldier is um, the one that's supposed to be really diverse with their weapon choices. But in this game, the soldier's like just the most hardy. So, mm. yeah. Also, I was really confused about where to go on my first playthrough, and the Quarian ended up dying because of reasons. Mm. So about that Quarian. Did you bring it? Where's the Shadow Broker? Where's Fist? Oh. They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. Oh! Holy shit, he just took her back 10 feet. Ow! We got three people on top of these guys. What's the green thing in proximity mine? Uh, it's, I think it's a debuff. It causes their health to not regenerate. It's like poison. Oh, okay. Also, my weapon overheated. You want to use any powers? Um, nah, I'm good. I got this guy. I don't really use powers very much unless they're the two um, cooldowns. In which case, I'll be using this powers like crazy. Up. I knew I couldn't trust him. I took care of him. Don't worry about Fist. He got what was coming to him. Then I guess there are two things I need to thank you for. Who are you? I'm a buddy. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. The ambassador's office. It's safe there. They'll want to see this anyway. That's a bit oddly timed music cue. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all out assault on Korra's den. Do you know? Bitch, how bitch, many... bitch, bitch, bitch. Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Shut up! <laughs> can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if you hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, Miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage, my rite of passage into adulthood. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. Mm. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. And it proves that someone who sounds exactly like Saren was involved in the attack. Yes, yeah, seriously. What are the odds the council's going to think that this is either somebody else or just a manipulation? I could show him the Geth data module. I guess that would be part of the thing. Oh, mm. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I Counselor Troy. She's betrayed Starfleet and joined with Saren. <laughs> Reapers? That sounds familiar. Can't imagine where. Oh, it's actually like probably Demona. 
According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. It's that's not far almost exactly what the humans have concluded too, isn't it? I, I think so. That's not far-fetched, that's a Quagsire. The vision on Eden Prime. That was a Pokemon joke, I'm sorry. Oh. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. They need to know. They'll probably blame the humans for it. <laughs> probably. Reapers? Were you building Reapers? <laughs> Something ridiculous. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her? The Quarian. My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. What about your quest? I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. Goobble gobble, goobble gobble. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. So you actually have the and option to turn away party members to in this game? Ready with I think so. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. I think you can actually go through the entire game without recruiting Garrus. Uh, for sure. Huh. Wow. Um, but I'm not totally positive on that. Um, the, uh, I, I'm surprised that they're giving so many of them to us right off the bat. Like, we're, we're only, what, two and a half hours into this game? Yeah, basically. And we've already got all but one squad mate. Mm-hmm.